Go up to North Windham, Maine. Go right ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, on this three party uh, system, uh, I have a small uh, little statement and then a very quick question. It would appear to me that it's already here that the people of the United States of America that takes the time to write their congressmen and their senators to stop all pay raises and they, the uh, representatives, none of them, listen, then I would say the three-party system is already here. Good. Thank you very much, well, and I'll be listening for you. Well, I think with the gentleman, you know, it's funny. Uh, as soon as that business came out, we spoke out about it in Vermont, and, and uh, a lot of people you know, responded to that and all over this country now. People uh, cannot believe that a United States Congress, which has not raised the minimum wage in 10 years, which has cut programs for the poor, that these people are going on television and saying, gee, we just can't make it with $89,500 plus a lot of very nice benefits. We need a 50% increase. What that is about is the arrogance of power. And it's related to the fact that in the last election, I don't know how many people know this, 99% of the incumbent congressmen were reelected. In other words, what you're seeing now in the United States Congress is a situation, number one, we have a lot of very, very wealthy people. One-third of the United States Senate are millionaires. A lot of the congressmen are millionaires. Number two, when you're an incumbent congressman, you can pick up a lot of corporate tax support. You have a lot of name recognition. You have franking privileges. You're on TV every day. Basically, you're seeing the creation of a government which is isolated and unaccountable to the people and apparently cannot be recalled by the people. There was a bigger turnover in the Politburo in the Soviet Union last year than in the United States Congress. Now, that's a real problem. And the arrogance went that far as to say to the American people, you average worker who saw a 3 or 4% increase in your salary, you're making 20 or 30,000 bucks if you're lucky. We, we only make an 89,000. We're going to get a 50% increase in our salaries. Now, in fact, as that gentleman has indicated, maybe the Congress went a little bit too far this time. And people, as a result of work of people like Ralph Bader and many others, there's been a real citizens' uprising against that. And if that helps lead to a third party, demonstrating the arrogance of Congress, certainly I'll be very happy about that. 